Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Locked in the House, focus on my face. Locked in the house, bored in the kitchen. And this week we're gonna have some fun. We are not spending three days photographing flowers. We are gonna put our new extension tubes to the test and experiment by getting messy in the kitchen and seeing which of these household products take best to water. So we have an array of household items from cleaning products to bath products to paint to oils to vitamin tablets and nail varnish. And what we're gonna do is dump them into this tank of water. So with all the excitement, I completely forgot to tell you that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. So I feel like this is something anybody can get involved with at home, especially if you've got kids. All you need is something see-through that holds water. In this case, I have uh, stolen one of my wife's spare 10 gallon fish tanks. And you don't even need macro, uh, macro lenses for this. Um, I'm just going in for the super close-up. I still think what we're about to do will work with a normal lens. Just get as close as you can. So my setup is quite simple. In the same as my last video, I've just got these three extension tubes, cheap as chips, 30 quid on Amazon. Ignore this camera, this is my X-T3. I'm using this to film the action in super slow motor, you know, up the production value. Now in terms of lighting, I've got two LED lights. One panel here, which I've commandeered from my office, which I usually use to light my face when doing my sit down office videos. And then this ring light on the top, again, is just an old light I used in my office. The reason I've got two lights is because we're shooting at a narrow aperture of F8 and we need a super fast shutter speed of about a thousandth of a second to capture that motion as we pour God knows what into this water. Now you don't need necessarily these plug-in panels. You can get these little cool battery powered LED panels. Again, you can get these fairly cheaply off of Amazon, but I'm filming a video, so I need more time than the battery can afford with this panel. Right, let's talk a bit more technical stuff before we crack on. You can see I've drilled a hole in the top of the tank and I've dropped in a cable tie. That is my drop zone. So one of the reasons I needed that drop zone is because when you shoot macro photography, you have a very, very, very narrow depth of field, which means, you know, any anything that's gonna be in focus has gotta fall within like a one centimeter gap, even when I'm at F8. So what I've done is I've dropped the cable tie, which you can't see because it's too bright, but you get the idea, there's a cable tie coming right down through the drop zone. And what I'm able to do is pre-focus my camera on that cable tie. So now anything, in theory, that I drop in that drop zone is gonna fall where that cable tie is and should be pin sharp. So that's pretty much it. I think it's uh, I think it's time to start, you know, get started and have a bit of fun with this. I'm very excited and uh, also a bit nervous. All right, so camera's fully locked off, everything manual, manual focus, manual exposure. I'm on high burst mode, so you know, I can fire off a ton of shots. And we're gonna start with some Auto Glin Super Resin Polish. This is for cleaning cars, but I haven't, I can't remember the last time I cleaned my car. So, let's give this a go. And we're gonna uh, cable release, drop it in, fire up a bunch of shots, and just see what happens. I've got no idea. I hope they're in focus, I hope that much. All right, here we go. I hope I can get it in the hole. Oh. someone at the door. All right, golden syrup. And this is just a warning to everybody. This is what can happen when uh, you get a new toy and you're not allowed to leave the house. Okay, I kind of want to tilt the camera down and film what's going on on the bottom. All right, so we had to react to what was happening inside the fish tank then because there was this bizarre thing where the, uh, the, the, the golden syrup went right to the bottom but then all of the white polish died. That was pretty cool though, pretty cool. Glazed balsamic vinegar. Okay, next up we have my wife's blue nail polish. Hopefully she won't miss this. 
I've never seen her wearing it. Not bad. So I stole my wife's fish tank, I also stole her fish tank gravel. So I'm going to take a handful of this gravel and I'm going to drop it and... Uh, <laughs> wow. Come on, we're really, really clutching at straws here whilst we can't go outdoors. WD-40. I have no idea what could possibly happen with WD-40. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Alright, that, 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 was, that was the worst one yet. A uh, bit, of, bit of Lenore washing liquid detergent stuff. Let's give this a go. Pour it in the cap. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I've, uh, I've made the tank a cloudy mess. I have no idea what's gonna happen with spray paint. I'm nervous. Okay, black on black is never a good idea. That was a fail. This is a bath bomb, an effervescing bath bomb. Now, I'm guessing it's gonna effervesce, and it's those bubbles that we're gonna shoot, so it smells nice. That hasn't worked at all. Oh no. No, I'm taking it out, taking it out, no good. I wonder if my wife will notice if I just wrap it back up in cling film and put it in the bathroom. Wow, I'm just gonna end the video there because this is, I've made a mess and I'm gonna get in trouble, <laughs> but I was so bored and this is great fun. I would recommend it to anybody. So thank you for watching this video. If you're new here, this is nice, so far removed from what I normally do. I'm a landscape photography channel out in the wilderness, camping, hiking, you know, camper van photography, climbing, walking, mountain, all that kind of stuff. Not this, but you know, we're all in this together. So if you've come this far and, and whatever, subscribe, definitely. And to my loyal subscribers who are already so, thank you so much. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you need a website, if you're at home and you can't go anywhere, you wanna build a website to showcase your photography, then give Squarespace a go because if you don't know anything about web coding and the technical, you know, HTML stuff, uh, you just use Squarespace, you just drag and drop and templates and it's, like, it's very, very straightforward. Uh, idiot proof, I, I would describe it as. So there you go, if you want a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and use the off code Heaton for, no, forward slash heat and for a free trial and use the off code heat and for 10% off your first purchase. I thank you so much and uh, yeah, stay safe everybody. All right, bye bye.